Hello, Solo Leveling Arise community! Today, I tried to finish Battlefield of Trial Floor 48 with my current total power, 525k. This part, I will show you how big of a gap I have in this floor. Bam! One tap, one hit kill. <laughs> anyway guys, if you haven't supported any content creator yet, Maybe you want to support me to receive new codes from Content Creator Program. And let's go back to Battlefield of Trials, Floor 48. Let's do this! Okay guys, basically we just need to eliminate every monsters here. And there are two batches of monsters that we need to eliminate. After that, the golem boss will come out. And I'm using West Wind here for some reasons. I haven't really tried any other weapons, but West Wind worked for me here. Uh, later in the video, you will see my lineups, the artifacts, and the skills that I'm using here if you're not yet familiar with it. And you will see that I am really struggling to eliminate these two batches of monsters because I'm 200k away from the recommended total power. The recommender here is 720 plus and I'm around 520. And let me increase the speed of the video at least until the boss because I don't want to waste your time guys. And now in the boss part, I'm just spamming the west wind whenever I can while removing the break gauge of the boss. So I don't usually bring Seo or breakers in my runs but my total power is really far from the recommended total power here. I opted to bring breakers so I can easily remove the break gauge of the bosses. Because if I will just use the skills or the break skills, it won't be enough and the time won't be enough for me to remove the break gauge and I won't be able to eliminate the boss on time. So this is one of the struggles of free to play players and with low total power like me but still we are managing to clear things despite being against all the odds. Actually this is just my second run for this stage after my live for this uh, battlefield of trial. So I'm just testing the waters for using west wind. I think I'm using site before on my live in this floor and also my total power was a little bit lower on that and I don't have any breaker on my lineup that's why I decided now to bring breaker Sayo my highest total power breaker and as you can see I'm always maintaining the stocks in my west wind I'm not letting it disappear because too much damage will be removed if the stocks of the west wind will disappear nothing really fancy here guys I'm just using Alicia to increase my total power and again Seo for the breaker and the only buffer that I have here is Min plus the break skill death dance and almighty break wind rune and that's it i already eliminated the boss and now you will see the lineup the artifacts the blessing stones that i use in this floor so i am using a3 plum and a5 west wind and the stat of my sjw 22.9k attack 193 percent crit damage and for the blessing stones i have bloodlust sharp perception Pulverize and reawakening for the cooldown. Artifacts of my SJW, 4 piece curse, 4 piece beast. My Alicia has full curse, my mean full blessing, and my Seo full grid set. And now for the second part of the video, which is Battlefield of Chaos, here is the guide for you guys. Free to play guide again, guys. So I am staying at Floor 7 of Battlefield of Chaos. Even though I can go up to Floor 9 I think. Just because of the rewards. Floor 7 will give us 3 rewards with rank 3 or with the chance of getting rank 3 gems. Unlike with Floor 6 we don't have the uh, chance to get rank 3. 
And if I proceed to 8, 9, 10, we still have the same chances of getting rank 3 gems with the same amount of rewards. So for a free to play like me, I suggest that we focus only to floor 7. But of course, if you can do higher floor without difficulty, you may do so. This is only for those having difficulty doing higher floors. Because for me, even if we do 10, 11, 12, we still have a chance to get those rank 1 gems. I think they need to remove these rank 1 gems here for floor 11 or 12 because I think the reward does not equate to the difficulty of the higher floors. And as a proof, and as a proof that it's okay to do floor 7, you will see my gems here. Of course, I'm not doing the blue and the purple. I'm focused on the red, the attack, for the yellow, for the precision, crit damage, and penetration, and the defense, for the green. As a free-to-play, my last priority here are the blues and the purples. If I will get rank 4 gems in red, yellow, and greens, that's the only time that I will focus on the purples and blues. And let's go back to floor 7. My lineup would be Alicia, Maylin, and Jiwoo. With the same artifacts, uh, pure curse for Alicia, pure blessing for Maylin, and pure greed set for my uh, Seo Jiwoo. And this is my stats for my SJW, 22.5k attack and 192% crit damage. And my Alicia is around 19.7k attack and 162% crit damage. Basically, I can just auto here but for this video, I decided to do manual mode. So it's all up to you if you want to watch it completely. But here is the gameplay guys. And again, we just want to remove the break gauge of the bosses here. But as you can see, I can easily break it now because my total power is higher than the recommended already. And Battlefield of Chaos has 3 stages if you're new to this. Every stage has different set of bosses and different amount of bosses. It depends on the uh, floor. Sometimes there's three, sometimes there's two, some other floors has one. And as always, I'm just staying at floor seven because I think that's the sweetest spot for the farming of gems. And let me increase the speed again so that I won't waste your time guys. And that's it for this video guys. Please give your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and thanks for watching. See you on the next upload. Bye bye.